Imagine looking back in a few years from now, realizing that you had an opportunity to make generational wealth, but you missed it. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to make that mistake. And the markets today have told us a huge story. There's been a big flip in the narrative. So before things start to skyrocket, I'm going to tell you exactly what I've been looking at and buying in this dip, in this generational wealth making opportunity. In addition to that, guys, I have one of the best, literally the best opportunities that I've seen probably all year. And I'm going to bring that to you at the end of the video. So if you guys are excited to see what I'm buying in this dip, then do me a favor, destroy that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And without further ado, guys, let's get into it. And what am I talking about? Kyle, what are you talking about? What has happened today? Just like literally an hour ago or something that has made me flip incredibly bullish. I mean, I kind of already was already, but this is what the confirmation that I was a few days back when I made the video talking to you guys. So what is that? Well, I told you guys that Jerome Powell was going to be talking at, uh, at this meeting, right? And here is a summary of what came out of that meeting. And if you're not familiar with the term dovish, meaning doves fly up, right? And then you've heard hawkish, hawks dive down. Jerome Powell, had an incredibly dovish speech. And these are the summary of the remarks from his meeting minutes saying, basically, the time has come for the Fed policy to adjust. We know that the Fed has been tightening for the past few years, adjusting to a more loosening strategy. We used to call that quantitative easing. They won't say that anymore because that directly reflects money printing. However, that's basically what it is. The Fed, this is crazy. The Fed will do everything to support a strong labor market. You know from the last video that I made, if you guys saw it, one million jobs were underreported in the, the unemployment, right, essentially. And so that is not a good look for any type of administration, especially coming into an election. And Jerome comes out and says, we will do everything in our power to support a strong job market. Well, what do you do? You need to stimulate the economy in order for people to have more money, for money to be cheaper, lowering interest rates, printing more money, stimulating the economy so that people can hire, they can create new stimulus packages, uh, new incentives like building new roads and bridges and government programs to create more jobs. This is exactly what's going to happen right now. This is incredibly bullish and the markets reflected that today. I'll show you that in just a second here. The Fed does not welcome further weakening of the labor market. Labor market confidence has grown that inflation is heading to 2%. This is exactly what the Fed needed to see in order for them to be comfortable lowering interest rates. So like I said in the last video, I'm expecting that in September, we see a lowering of interest rates between 25 and 50 basis points. It seems like from this discussion that might be closer to 50 basis points. We will see Regardless, we know that we're headed in the right direction for this market to exactly pick up. Like I said, again, September, lowering interest rates leading into the October injection of cash from FTX. And we're going to get away from all the mar market uncertainties because people have been wondering what's going to happen. Just a few weeks ago, people were talking about well, maybe they're not going to lower the interest rates. Maybe they're going to keep them you know, high and unsustainable. But now we have more certainty in the market. So it's just a matter of time, guys. I mean, we're talking anywhere from days to maybe a few weeks before we start to see the markets rally, in my opinion. This is exactly what they want to get to is 2% interest rates. And that's where it's heading. Remember, inflation and CPI are lagging indicators. So even if they started printing money today aggressively, you wouldn't see that number show up in the actual inflation numbers for six months from now, well past the election, well past the, when the administration actually cares to show numbers. And remember, it's all about looking good for November. They have to do whatever they can to, to do that. So the balance of, of risk to Fed mandates has changed meaning that there's much less risk now in their mind and inflation has declined significantly toward the goal. The Fed pivot is officially here. This is incredibly good news, guys. If there was any uncertainty in your minds before about the direction, are we going to have a bull market? Is the bull market still happening? Are we going into a bear market? Like now we have much more clear direction. This is great. We actually saw that reflected in the charts, as you can see right here. S&P, everything just skyrocketing. US, NASDAQ, Ethereum, Bitcoin, bam, bam, bam. Bitcoin popped $1,000 upon this news, headed in the right direction. Now, you can see these are the current, uh, look, at everything's, everything's rallying right now. Everything is green, exactly what we want to see. This is beautiful to see. Uh, the markets will, of course, react when the Fed makes news like this. Now, 
This is the Wayback Machine. This is coming back to May in 2021. Now, I want to show you guys something important, right? This is the front page of Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko, Coin Gecko, right? And if you notice here, everything on the market cap on page one is over a billion dollars, and a lot of things on page two were over a billion dollars. And I'm guaranteeing you that even, and you can see here, this is not the case, right? We go down here and we can see that some of these market caps are under a billion dollars. Uh, but these will certainly all pump to well over a billion you know, on the front page, maybe several billion at the minimum on the front page. So are we going to be able to identify these multi-billion dollar market cap projects? Yep, definitely. But the goal of this video right now, initially, what I'm going to tell you is just the things that are the most obvious to me. Like what could you literally buy right now that probably in the next couple of months, not financial advice, is probably going to at least 2x or something from here. And this is easy to do. We're just going to look at the things that have been running super hard 30 days ago that were on a tear that have now had a nice correction between 30, 50 percent on your more on your more volatile things, and you know like 20 percent, 30 percent on your more stable kind of blue chips uh, to some other ones as well. But these things are just the most obvious to me, in my opinion, what I have been buying over the past week or so. So let's take a look at this chart. This chart will be in the description below, so you guys can open it up and take a look at your own time. I'm gonna run through this real quick. And then remember, toward the end of this video, guys, really great opportunity, Alpha, just for you that you don't want to miss. I'm telling you. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And so we have Bitcoin, of course. It's, of course, if you, you should allocate to Bitcoin. You know, maybe, like I always suggest dca into Bitcoin for the rest of your life, essentially. Whatever that is, just make sure that you start having some Bitcoin. You know, uh, if, if you make some good money on a meme coin trade, take a little bit of profit and put in Bitcoin. Always doing that. Ethereum has been a laggard, right? But we, I think people are still massively undervaluing Ethereum. There's something called Mega ETH that's coming out in November that maybe you guys aren't aware of. It's a layer two that's going to be faster than Solana. Going to be able to do 100,000 transactions per second. It's going to be able to have you know, millisecond latency. It's going to have fast finality time. It's going to feel fantastic. It's backed by Vitalik and Joe Lubin and all these guys. And that should bring a lot of more interest back to the Ethereum ecosystem. Super cheap transactions, super fast, super bullish. Solana, 45% down from all-time highs. This is a no-brainer. Obviously, we've been talking about Solana since it was like 12 bucks, whatever, earlier last year, uh, over a year ago. Ton has been just really strong, really strong. And that, of course, has to still prove itself, but all signs are leading toward that, having an incredibly bullish run. Down 21%. Caspa, uh, down 22% from all-time highs, which it just hit not too long ago, like 30 days ago. So it had a nice little pullback and it was just on its way up. If the market didn't correct, it would have kept ripping. Why? Because Caspa is coming out with the uh, KRC20 tokens. Essentially, they're about to launch tokens on chain and Caspa has an incredibly bullish community. There was no VCs. It was organically grown with no marketing. Like this thing is going to absolutely rip in this bull market. And Phantom, Andre Cogne, it's going to be the fastest layer one EVM chain out there. So you can use your MetaMask, you can use your Rabi wallet, and it's going to feel great. It's going to feel like Solana, but you're actually going to be able to use all the things you're familiar with. Yes, you'll have to bridge your liquidity over there, but they're going to make easy bridging solutions for that as well. And we'll get into that. We'll come back to this chart in just a second. Like I said, Andre Cogne, Cogne, if you're not familiar with him, he was kind of like the godfather of DeFi back in 2021 and is one of the chief uh, executives over at Sonic. As you, as you know, we've been talking about on this channel that they're rebranding to Sonic from Phantom. Ticker S, the new going to be new token, and they'll be the fastest EVM chain in the world. This is going to be very, very bullish. Caspa, right now, looking a little bit undervalued. It's in a good buy zone, of course. Why? Well, Caspa, like Bitcoin, has a deflationary schedule where you can see every month the supply is reduced. And so it has a faster decreasing Bitcoins every four years. Caspa's emission not, doesn't cut in half, but it reduces every month. So that's why it's easy to determine that. And also Caspa hash rate just hit all-time highs, meaning that there's more miners securing the network than ever. This is incredibly bullish for a chain that is severely undervalued, in my opinion, sitting here at a only $4 million market cap. If you look at some of the other comparables, and it's it's essentially, it's not an FDV because there's still tokens being minted, but not very many. The majority of them have already been mined. So when you look at other things like Solana, it's a 20X to get to Solana's valuation, right? It is a you know 20X to get to BNB's valuation. If it got to Ton, it would still be an 11, you know, 10X from here or 9X from there. So, you know, Tron still a, a four and a half X and it's 
in my opinion, are going to far outperform that. So Caspa, incredibly bullish on Caspa as well. Now, let's get into to memes quickly. And uh, if you guys haven't watched my video that I dropped yesterday, it's very, very good. This this one right here, how Pepe started a trillion dollar meme coin industry. Put a lot of time into it. It's a, it's a different type of video, guys. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's really entertaining. It's 22 minutes long. It's the whole story of Matt Fury, the boys club, uh, Pepe, Pepe Coin, Brett, uh, all your favorite meme coin characters. Uh, it was really fun to make. I, I'm really proud of the video. So go check it out on my channel if you haven't. I will put it uh, in the, at the end of the video, a pop-up will come. And also there'll be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. But as you can see, Brett, something that I've been bullish on for a very, very long time, is still here at a good buying opportunity below a billion dollars, 944. And as you can see, it was up here all the way hit $2 billion. So it's over over 50% off right now. You can see Brett from all-time highs, 51% below all-time highs. With Popcat, Pepe, Pepe Coin, Mew, and Bonk are all on my list. I went and bought up some of all of these. Why? Because these things had the have been running the hardest all year long. Sure, there's other lower cap meme coins, but these things, in my opinion, are the least risky and the most obvious that once this market ticks up and things get super, super bullish, these things are going to rip super hard. And 30 days ago, pretty much all these, well, not, not, not with, but like that, that was a while before, but like basically these things were all ripping. And I think that as soon as the market comes back, really aggressive, we see Bitcoin to our all-time highs. I believe that most of these will be two, three X from here. And so in a pretty quick period of time, you can multiply your, your, your money. And I believe that these things are all fairly lower risk. I mean, of course, a meme coin is always going to be risky, but you get more potential upside in that as well. So also Pepe coin, as you can see recently has been ripping here. Why? That's because they're getting very, 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 very close to release, releasing all the products that we've been talking about for so long. I do cover Pepe coin and based AI in this video that we released over here that you should go watch. But as you can see, it's about to break this, this little descending triangle over here. Once it does, in my opinion, it's going to absolutely fly. There's a bunch of good news and uh, you know, I can make another update video on Pepe coin and stuff later, but yeah, as you can see, very, very bullish over here. Next, we get to the AI narrative uh, and on here, I've got Tau down 55%. We know that BitTensor is going to absolutely rip and then based AI 74% below all time highs and AIOZ or AOs 82% below all fantastic blue chips, if you ask me, but when it comes down to it based over here, look also also coming out and about to break this. Uh, I didn't really draw this correctly, but uh, let's see if you do. What was I doing over here? Oh, I, don't, I didn't have the chart extended all the way. Anyway, about to break its way up, but at a $105 million market cap for something that, in my opinion, will be better than BitTensor. And they're about to release Mainnet here fairly soon. I'm not going to give an exact date because they've been pushing it back a while, but it is around the corner fairly soon. Both test nets have been out and this thing is going to allow essentially fully encrypted, fully private, large language models to exist on it and people to build dApps that can connect to these large language models and use them accurately in a Web3 fashion with full privacy. It's something that's incredibly needed, incredibly important. And in compar compared to $15 billion uh, valuation that Tau reached earlier in the year, this thing is, in my opinion, incredibly undervalued. And then we go into the protocol pump player and banana gun. I, I think it's an amazing, you know, it was listed on Binance over here, pumped it a lot after Binance, things happened. They got to sell, it started to recover, markets corrected a little bit. And now remember, we've been talking about banana gun since it was at five or six, well, before it even launched. But then I told you guys to come in and buy it between five and six bucks over, you know, 10 X ago. And now you have a nice little pullback, right? Where is it from all time highs? It is currently sitting at a 40% below all-time highs, and it was still on its way to rip upwards. I had the pleasure to talk, to speak with the actual team earlier today for the first time ever and get to hear what the future plans are of the project. And as you guys know, I've been supporting them without even having the tables. It was the first time I actually ever talked to them. And it was really exciting to hear kind of their whole ethos, the whole narrative, what they're doing. I don't have any official agreement with them or anything. You know, they're, they're building the whole web interface so you don't have to use a Telegram bot anymore. And it's always been the best technology when it comes down to speed, execution, multi-chain for trading. And now they're going to make it even more user-friendly. Commonwealth, guys, let me remind you, the only project in the world to actually have a decentralized fund that allows you, the retail investor, to get into early stage 
deals that were once only afforded for the 1%, only for the VCs in the world. And look, all of the all the oracles and the people who can bring deals to the funds in Commonwealth, have, these are the investments that they've made. Look at this. Polygon, Polkadot, Coinlist, Magic Eden, like Sandbox, Arweave, Layer Zero, Kraken, everything. Like these guys are incredibly talented group of individuals that are curating deals and bringing them to you guys, the retail investors in Commonwealth. This thing is incredibly value and it just hasn't had time to shine yet because these projects is new, but it's already starting to generate revenue. The flywheel is already starting to kick in and I'm incredibly bullish on this thing. And in my opinion, it's severely undervalued in my opinion, but of course it needs to prove itself over time, right? But I'm, I, I absolutely love this project because it allows, it's really built for the everyday person. And remember the majority of the people in the space and the actually, sorry, the majority of people in the world aren't like you and me, right? They're not in crypto every single day, hunting for the best deals, but they want to invest their money in a risk minimized way in something that's going to return them more money than the stock market, more money than a mutual fund, more money than real estate. And that's kind of what Commonwealth's goal is to do is to make that process really easy for the everyday person who just wants to kind of trust the process. And that's is why I, I actually love Commonwealth. Paid network is the other one on my list. Obviously I know exactly what's going on over there <laughs> as it's one of my projects, but this, I want to remind you, I was in, in uh, I was I was filming the TV show Crypto Nights before, just a few weeks back, and it was really, really, really good production. I'm very excited for that to hit the uh, the, the 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 TV <laughs> in November when it starts when it launches, and you guys will get to see the quality, the quality of the nights, the production of the show, all the the great projects that came on it, and we're even starting to talk about season two fairly soon, but. Paid Network is official launchpad partner of Crypto Nights. And I can tell you there was fantastic projects on Crypto Nights. There's fantastic projects lined up to launch on Paid Network after those episodes go live. And so we have a whole roster of amazing projects lined up to launch on Paid Network. And of course, right now, the whole, the whole launchpad space is quiet because it's not a good idea to launch in this current market. There's no liquidity. But when that liquidity comes back, when Bitcoin goes to $75,000, $80,000, I guarantee you the launchpad space is going to absolutely be flying. And Paid Network is, in my opinion, perfectly positioned to take advantage of that, which is very, very exciting. Again, this is the show, Crypto Nights. Check out the X account if you haven't seen it yet. Really cool stuff. You can get a good idea of who's behind it, what the projects are, all this kind of cool stuff. So what is this opportunity I've been telling you guys about? This thing that is an incredible opportunity. I had to actually check with the team before I made this video to make sure that I was doing my math right because of how what a good deal this is. So Revolving Games, guys, is a really, really, really big project backed by some of the best industry players in the world, Pantera, Dapper Labs, Enamoka, Kinetic, many more. Me, myself, I'm a private investor in it as well. But there's big, big news over here that Node Terminal actually partnered up with revolving games to offer a node sale that's happening right now. And I wanted to bring this to you guys first, right? So you got this opportunity because I literally, like I said, I had to double check my math. Before I get into it, let's talk about some of these high level things first. So basically this is my little cheat sheet it tells you all about this, but right now on node terminal, by the way, this is node terminal over here, node terminal.com. Node terminal, if you don't know, it's a launch pad essentially and a node operator. So if you want to find out all the kind of things that are going to be happening on Node Terminal, you can go there. I have an affiliate link down in the description below. If you use that link to sign up, uh, right now they have a point system. So you can earn points by participating, by buying nodes, by delegating your node to be operated and ran by Node Terminal. By the way, if you guys aren't familiar with what a node is, a node is basically something that secures the security of a blockchain. And the thing is, is that sometimes it takes some technical skill and competency to operate a node. So Node Terminal makes that really easy. It allows you, if you want to be someone who can earn passive income, you can go buy a node and then you can delegate it to Node Terminal to operate on your behalf. And then it just pays out you tokens from that project on an ongoing basis. And it just takes a small fee for operating for you. So you can just collect residual passive income for a very long time. This is a great new kind of way to invest into blockchain opportunities that again, before were kind of only afforded for VCs and kind of the in crowd. And now this is opening up opportunity to you guys to earn passive income in some really amazing projects. And I'll tell you just how amazing this project is. And we can go down here first and look at some of the big highlights about it, right? So 
you can see over here some of the investors here. You've got Pantera, Animoca Brands, Kinetic, Dapper, like really, really big quality funds, especially Pantera and Animoca. The founders have generated over $3 billion in lifetime revenue before. And you can see this is the team highlights. They come from things like Rockstar Games, EA Games, Activision, Blizzard, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see over here, backed by, like I said, some of the best, Pantera, Animoca, Cypher. And on the cap table over here, you've got Dan Hauser, who is actually from Rockstar, right? The guy who makes Grand Theft Auto. You've got the guys from Azuki, FaZe Banks from FaZe Clans. You got Julio here from Pixelmon, Gabby from YGG. You got Luca over here from Pudgy Penguins, all part of it. And then as far as other strategic advisors, you've got myself, you got Mario, Grail, Dingaling, OSF and Mando as part of the advisor network as well. So really, really high quality team of people backing this project. Very successful founders in the past and they raised over $30 million so far. And I'll tell you the opportunity that is here today for you guys on No Terminal is way, <laughs> it's a really good deal. And I'll show you exactly how we figured out some of that math here in just a second. So what is the opportunity on the table essentially here? Well, you can buy one of these scout nodes at No Terminal, right? You just go to No Terminal, use my link. So that way you earn double the XP points. And what are the XP points? Well, you can use them for things like discounts on No Terminal, but also remember how point systems work in the crypto space. Usually when a project has some traction and they have a point system that usually ends up for an airdrop later. So if you want to increase your points, make sure you use the affiliate link. And uh, if you want to participate in this thing here, and I'll tell you why I did massively here coming up soon, if you want to see me over here. So this is what happens when you, you want to go over here, you sign up. The KYC guys takes about 20 minutes. So do your KYC, it says pending, and then come back and check. And I'll tell you like, you know, as soon as it's done, it'll let you participate, but you just go over here, click launch app, and then it'll go over here. And then you just go into revolving games and then you can go over here and participate in the regular sale. And you can see right now there's 6,997 available of tier ones. You want to buy these tier ones over here, guys, 160 bucks for one. You can buy, it's not caps. You can buy as many of these as you want to. And you can see my portfolio over here. I literally, just before I made this video, I went and bought 330 myself. And you can see that's actually on chain. Uh, you guys that know how to track wallets can track it. See, I actually made these purchases. Because why? Because I actually got to invest in revolving games a long time ago, like a year ago. And I'll tell you that I paid a lot more for my tokens than they're offering today. And I had to check with the founders before I made this video to make sure I was doing the math right to see the opportunity that you guys were getting, why it was so much lower than I paid for it. And that's why I went and bought, even though I already put a bunch in a private sale, I went and bought a bunch more today because it's such a good opportunity here. So what, do, what am I talking about? Well, they raised $30 million, guys, and I can tell you the last round was, was much, much higher than, like many, many multiples higher than, than is actually being offered right now. So what is the equivalence, basically? Well, how does it work? So if you get, for every node that you get, you're gonna get about 5,000 tokens per month. And you start earning those tokens today. If you buy the node today, you start earning them. So you don't have to wait till TGE and Q4. You actually start accumulating them today, which is great. So by the time, by the, the way that I'm doing the math here, by the time that you actually get your tokens, you would have gotten your money back probably and then some from your initial investment. So it's $160 per node. Each node will get about 60,000 tokens per year or 180,000 tokens over three years. Now, when you do the math, if you buy 180,000 tokens for 160 bucks, it comes out to 0 0.00089 cents per token. Now to get the FDV or the fully diluted valuation of a project, you multiply the price of a token by the total supply to get the valuation of what you're paying for a token, which is $35.5 million, guys. I don't know the exact terms of the earliest round here, but my guess is that this is probably as good of a deal as the earliest investors. I'm telling you, this is much, much less than I paid a year ago to come into this thing. This is why I got super excited and double checked my math and why I bought a bunch of 330 of these notes so far. I actually might buy some more after this as well, but I want to give you guys an opportunity to get it in, of course, as well. So that's the way it works. Essentially, you start earning notes and it's a whole gaming ecosystem, guys. They've got intellectual property. They've got a lot of stuff built already. They've been working on this for like three or four years already. Super experienced team. Let me remind you that things like Gala Games. So, so, and just so you know, how you get 
uh, paid back in here, the kind of estimate timeline. So if this thing were to be at a $200 million valuation, which is incredibly low, it would take you eight months to recoup your initial investment. $500 million uh, FTV, three months to recoup your investment. At a $1 billion FTV, only two months. At a $2 billion, it would take just one month to recover your investment. Now, what is the easiest thing for us to compare this to? Well, it would be Gala Games, right? Gala Games is kind of similar. It's its own blockchain. It has nodes, has a big gaming infrastructure set up. It has different games that we launched on it. But in my opinion, I believe the team and the backing is far superior on revolving games to Gala. But what is the potential here? What did Gala go up to? Well, if we go over here and we look at CoinGecko and then we go to market cap, we can see if we go to max chart over here that the market cap of this thing went all the way up to five, almost $5.5 billion back here at the peak of last bull market. And so $5.5 billion. And let's say that something like this did that. Now I'm not saying that it will, but just so you know, and this is not even, F, that's not even FDV. That's actually only, let's see. So just, but even if it was 5.5 billion, that's a, well, just to say 5 billion, just to be a little bit more conservative, divided by 35 million is the FDV. That would be 142X, right? So if you invested 160 bucks, come out to like 22,857. Not financial advice, not saying that this is, any of this is guaranteed to happen, but I'm very excited for it. I've put my money in my, where my mouth is, not only the first time when I invested over a year ago, but again today when I found out what kind of opportunity was on no terminal. So guys, again, the link is in the description below. Very, very excited for this. Not financial advice, do your own research. But I just told you, I would tell you exactly what I'm doing to get ready for this market. Again, the Fed pivoted. Things are looking incredibly bullish. Now is the time, guys, to make your positions because I don't think we're going to stay down at these prices for much longer. I will catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.